Reading records. Wow. Beautiful. I love everything. I love it so much for my silent filming. <laughs> It's Christmas. I feel like it's Christmas. I have written the words. Professor Minerva McGonagall. <laughs> that is exactly Minerva McGonagall. Welcome to the Lobstead. This video will be the first of three in a series where I show you the three wonderful magical spots that I keep my yarn stash. I have been knitting for years and I have a wonderful yarn stash that I love very much. In this part you'll see my cabinet that I picked up online and brought it home. It was just covered in primer paint. I added a coat of glitter paint and painted the inside and made it something that I house my cozy yarn in. I hope you enjoy seeing what's hidden inside. cabinet is covered in a coat of a sparkle gel Here is the first drawer in my yarn cabinet, and here I have the first pair of socks that I ever knit. These are little baby socks made for one of our children, and by doing baby socks I learned to cast on, do ribbing on a cuff, 
do a heel flap and guess it decreases as well as I learned how to decrease on a toe and finish off the sock. These were made out of Knit Picks Stroll Tweed. This is Story Weaver Yarn in the Winter Session at Hogwarts set, which came with Door. Slytherin Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff. These tonals are so beautiful, and I have not decided how to use them yet. These are some Dragon Horde yarn hanks that Eden and I split to make 50-50 sock sets so that we could knit socks together. is breathtaking BFL in the modernist dye method by Knit Circus. The colorway is the Headless Horseman Modernist. It has exceptional crinkle value. There's their logo. I'm saving this set for the Halfway to Haunts make-along. On top of my dresser, I have a set called My Little Pony by Dragon Hard Yarn, and I am going to put this in my summer sock camp basket because My Little Pony is very much an 80s toy and this make-along has an 80s, 90s theme to it. inside of the cabinet I had painted bronze. This cupboard is my almost totally singles cupboard with a few mohair silk hanks and a couple of two plies. In this bag my 
ritual dies. Singles. Their fingering single ply base is called the crone base. And this colorway This colorway is called Agate. This colorway is called Foraging. This colorway, I believe, is called Aries. Which happens to be the constellation sign of my birthday. This bright, happy yarn is called Neon Peach, and it's a, one of the oldest hanks in my stash by Madeline Tosh. This tweed, gnome tweed, in the Terrason colorway. Part of a sweater I'm working on, so I put it in this cabinet so I could grab the extra hanks when I needed them. Full and fine ghost lace in rhyme break. and Vine Phantasm Victoriana Phalites Guilt Stellar Banshee Phantasm is an alpaca Baby Surrey alpaca silk blend Those four were bought for doing a faded sweater Full and Vine Blitzed in Grinchy Witch. And there's a bit of footsie in the colorway Solstice that Eden gave me after she finished one of her projects because I really loved it and we thought it would make a good contrast color for a Zweig or something. Ritual dies. Their fey base, which is a silk mohair in pyrite, which happens to be my favorite ritual dies colorway. It just occurred to me, I have no idea if you could see anything that I was showing to you because I'm not watching the monitor. I'm too enamored with my yarn. <laughs> A homespun house, Bellini. Lumos, which is my favorite homespun house Harry Potter colorway that Molly does. I particularly love it on her single space because the color is captured on singles like no other base. The 
he's our conspiracy theory, which was a colorway Molly came up with when she lived in Wisconsin. This is Family Secrets by a homespun house on a single. This is an old nitpicks. Mm, what is there? It starts with an H. I know somebody has said it already, but you're probably right. <laughs> And this is Barley on Singles, which, how gorgeous is that? It's beautiful. This is some Nouveau um, Thaw. I had knit a cider, sparkling cider hat, with some mohair from Dragon Horde yarn, and that project is in my project pages on Ravelry. Foxy Lady Base from Armour's Daughter Fibers in the color Flower Point. This Nouveau base is Pumpkin Kombucha. When my hanks have been caked up, it's because I was swatching them or trying them for a pattern, and obviously that pattern plan didn't work out, so they end up back in the cupboard. This is Blood Moon. And I can't even... It's so beautiful. Like a deep oxblood brick burgundy beautiful yarn. This is Volan Vine Nouveau in Shifts, Passing in the Night, and Edinburgh. Victoriana in Nouveau Base to knit um, oh goodness it's one of Tristan Molina's newer patterns a few more Nouveau I am no bird Thistle and Stoker. Yes, spot as a set for possibly a shawl. One of my favorite colorways of Kristen's holiday collections, Fig Bash. I just love the festive speckling in this, but it's still very elegant. And you have to have Grimm in your stash.
This is Kristen's classic warm black and it is gorgeous. It literally will go with any colorway. One more hank of yarn to show you, and this hank was done in the same dye as my strawberry freezer jam. And this is an example of how different bases take the exact same dye and what it looks like in the end. Singles take on dye color like no other base in my opinion. And I think that's why I am so drawn to them. They are also the softest fingering yarns to knit with. Night-night, little singles. As you can see, this is a catch-all drawer of many things. Spare phone case. Fresh set of cards. bag tiny Starbucks cups Merry Christmas from a homespun house Some lovely DPN cozies, which I will add to my basket. Oh, definitely a yarn cozy. I'll be needing. Snips from Kraken Made. And these tiny, tiny stitch markers for sock knitting from Knitbug Val. So adorable. 
purple. I have a few progress keepers in here I haven't used yet. Some beautiful progress keepers from Lock and Lou from different sets. Some Harry Potter club markers from Simply Serving. And a little corn doll, Susan from Simply Serving that came in a Little House on the Prairie set. I think I'll add Hedwig to my basket. Okay, let's have some fun now. I am going to show you the middle cupboard, which is in most part a homespun house yarns. So you know it's going to be very colorful and very beautiful. Alright, but on the bottom shelf, I have some Jingle All the Way in a fingering and a non superwash DK. I have Molly's mohair. This is Scandinavian, which is one of her beautiful blue tonals. This is After All This Time. Oh, it wasn't Dragon Horde yarn. I did the cider, sparkling cider hat. It was a homespun house. After All This Time. Always. <laughs> this is a Elvin Woods DK weight sock that I started and when I weighed the second half of the yarn I realized I did not have enough yarn to finish the pair of socks. So I'm going to pull the sock apart and use the yarn for something else. Lavender Sachet by Knitting Nelly. Morgan. It is so delicious smelling. I keep little chunks of soap in my cabinets to scent my yarn. This is a piece of soap from Wild in the Woods and it helps keep my yarn smelling fresh. Oh, this is a homespun house bag that some of my yarn came in. This you would have seen in a previous video of me walking through the forest in the snow and coming upon this bright hank of Christmas yarn by Molly. It is Land of Misfit Toys. I have the tags here. I had cast on a sweater and had this beautiful ditzy 
as one of my contrast colors. And this was also one of the contrast colors. I took this sweater apart because I cast it on pre-COVID and now it definitely would not fit. Butternut squash in a non-superwash decay. It needs to become a sweater. These non-superwash DK Apple Crisp Cider These are worsted weight in poly This is actually called Gingerbread House. Placebo in non superwash fingering. It's kind of festive looking. I have um, been knitting with Molly's yarn for quite a few years, so I have scraps. <clears throat> this is a Halloween colorway that was done on non superwash. Actually, I think these are all Halloween colorways. Yes, they are. Look at those pops of yellow. This is Hard feelings. This is melodrama on non superwash and Sira on non superwash. Oracle. Murdenam Aubergine
This is Butter Pecan. My goodness, I am not getting the names right today. Okay, let's look at this top cupboard. I've got some Tofino Knit Co. <laughs> but I am going to be making something for my husband out of once he decides what he would like out of it. Now, this bag of yarn is a bag of Ditsy on Molly's plump merino base. And its purpose is going to be the cozy comfort throw. So I'll be holding minis with this beautiful aquatic blue and making a blanket. This just wants to jump out at us, doesn't it? This is purple haze, which I am certainly sticking in my crazy sock lady basket. We've got Daydreamer and Amethyst, which I know I took that Amethyst mini and I used it with another, another Hank. I have a white Siberian Husky. And that is why you will see white hair on some of my items, because it is just unavoidable when you have a white fluffy dog. <laughs> this sock set is called Snuggle. I already know that this is some poppy. On soft sock. I am not certain what colorway this is. I have a feeling it is a Little House on the Prairie Club set that I lost the tag to. I started to make fingerless mittens with it and decided I did not like how the lace was working up with the speckles, so it will become something else lovely. Berlin Sunrise. This is Love Potion and the mini Polly is missing, but I have this leftover Polly, so I could use those. Ooh, practical magic. That is going to go in my halfway to haunts basket. I will leave this out. B sides and rarities. Fear inoculum. I feel like that could go in my 80s, 90s basket. Definitely. Saturday at the 70s. The rest of this got put into socks. 
starry night. Oh, this is a good one. This is a classic Molly Colorway Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. This is The Long Winter, a Little House on the Prairie Club colorway. is a Patreon sock set, Spring Song, and it had a strawberry mini with it, which I think that could be it. I'm not sure. This beauty is Huga Home. will not pull out all these minis. Many of them are the 10 gram Patreon minis that you get when you are subscribed to that level. Oh, but I will pull out this. This is Summer of 69. I think that needs to go in the summer sock camp. Basket. I love this mini set. I had no plans for it except loving it. I was very intent on recording the yarn video, so I was concentrating on the cabinet. My husband tapped me on the shoulder and pointed to the window behind us. When I turned around, I thought maybe he would want to see what was going on outside as well.
chip cake, which cherry chip cake is a popular cake in my family for birthdays. It is a box cake that is super delicious. This was made by Tofino Knit Company, and I'm going to put it in my summer sock camp basket. This soap is still in its packaging. I opened it just a little bit. It smells delicious and it is scenting my yarn cabinet beautifully. It is the Borealis Bee Cozy Up Scent Soap. My friend Jennifer sewed me this beautiful notions pouch, which I think I will use to put my summer sock camp bits in now. <laughs> this I recently found again. I hadn't known where it went. Have you any dreams you'd like to sell? And it was part of the Fleetwood Mac Club from wild in the woods. I have parts from this, um, it's kind of like a hookah box because it was full of yarn and treats that were all Stevie Nicks Fleetwood Mac themed. These little yarn cozies are made by the kitchen sink shop. which is Garleen. She has an Etsy shop. So now we're going to get into um, Soft Sock DK by Molly. This is These Happy Golden Years, which is a Little House on the Prairie club set. Another Little House on the Prairie Club by the shores of Silver Lake. These are conspiracy, but done on the soft sock. I had shown you a hank of it on the non-superwash. So on the superwash DK, it is much brighter. Oh, this is a second hank of the By the Shores of Silver Lake. This is a soft sock DK of Molly's that I think I've lost the label for. In this basket, oh, I've got a sock here. This is a plain vanilla sock, and I've left myself a note two millimeter needles. This plain vanilla sock by Hiromi is one of my favorite sock patterns. You end up knitting a double thick cuff and tacking it down, which makes the cuff really nice and strong. I love these little neon stripes. So I will put those in my summer sock camp bag to finish up because they are very summery. This basket is 
full of a homespun house, scraps from previous projects that I've knit in Molly's yarn. And, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I might as well show you. <laughs> These, I'll just let the little balls fall out. These are all the tags. different homespun house yarns that I have knit up in projects. Let's see what's the kind of sound we can make from them. Molly. The bottom section Mystery movie night from Knit City, Vancouver. You're just as sane as I am. Which, when I opened it, was this beautiful Luna Lovegood sock set. So there's Luna and her quibbler. This is Christmas at Hogsmeade. I believe that one was by the Woolen Homestead. Yes, it was. Oh, Hogsmeade Holiday. There's the other little bit left over. Is another set from Dufino Nitko's Mystery Movie Nights. They're quite gentle, really, but people avoid them because they're different. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix feeding the Thestrals sock set. This is another movie night set. Just because you have the emotional range of a teaspoon. We have the Gryffindor common room, a silver teaspoon, and Ron Weasley. This colorway is God Rest Ye Merry Hippogriff by Dragonheart Yarn. Biscott Yarn.
sorcerer uniform, Slytherin house. Christmas at Hogwarts 2022. This is Happy Birthday Luna. It is from the new set of Harry Potter themed yarn that the Homespun House is doing and it is celebrating all of the various characters on their birthdays with yarn inspired by their personalities. Harry Potter 2018, Mandragora. Halloween at Hogwarts 2022. I think this one will knit up very micro stripey, which I'm excited to see how that works. I think I'll put this in my halfway to haunts pile. Here is another happy birthday Hogwarts club. Happy birthday Lupin. is designed after Professor Lupin and I recently showed this on one of my other episodes. I have three of those so if you have any garment recommendations let me know. This is a bag of minis that are two mini sets combined. One set was the various Homespun House Harry Potter colorways from the original collection that Molly had been doing. And one, also there are the Horcrux's mini set that were designed based on the Horcrux's. I see I've pulled some of the minis out of here. Oh, look at that green. What is that? Oh, that's Nagini. This little mini goes with the Dragon Horde yarn, God Rest Ye Merry Hippogriff. These lovely minis were part of the advent calendar that Molly did, and it is a non superwash fingering calendar of tonals. And I am still trying to decide what would be the best pattern to use for these lovelies.
if you can hear someone that is my husband watching a movie in the This drawer I am going to have to fight with a little bit and I likely will shred some more tags. As you can see, it is stuffed full of lovely yarn. This straw tweed in the North Pole colorway, I am going to pull for the summer sock camp and knit along. Not that the North Pole is 80s or 90s themed, but because I would like to do a textured sock and this pale blue that Serena gave me for Christmas is perfect for that kind of sock. I'm also going to use this Stitchcraft and Wizardry Hank in Share Bear because the Care Bear inspired yarn is absolutely 80s. was a gift from Eden. Thanks, Eden. I also would like to do a self-striping yarn this summer sock camp. So I have this nomadic yarns, light as a feather, stiff as a board. And it was a gift from Christy of Yarn Cafe Creations when we went on our trip to Rhinebeck. Tristan and Christy and I stayed at an Airbnb and it was the most delightful time. I had so much fun and it will be burned in my memory forever. Eden brought me back. Cindy Marie Creates, who was a new dyer to me. I did not know of her. And look how happy and bright these are. This set is called Bright Blossoms. I've been saving this sock for Halfway to Haunts to finish up. is the heel toe do -si do pattern by the Crazy Sock Lady and this yarn by K-Zip Knits. I picked up at Knit City Vancouver and I just love, love, love how it is striping up. I'm a big fan of Little House on the Prairie, and this Little House Christmas yarn is beautiful. It comes from Bluebird Yarn, who is on Etsy, a, can a very talented Canadian dyer. I love her rustic take on Little House colorways. is Cranberry Garland, also by Bluebird Yarn. And this is Christmas in the Big Woods. The Woolen 
Christian Homestead included this mini in one of my orders, and it's called Christmas Tree Bubble Lights, and I fell in love with it and have hoarded this mini for years now. I did end up ordering Christmas Bubble Lights for a Christmas sweater, and I plan to cast that on this winter. I should say that order was a few years ago when the Woolen Homestead was still open. They have closed their shop. Tiffany and Ethan are still very active in their personal careers, so I think the yarn dyeing business just took a back burner for a little bit. This beautiful set by Explorer Knits has a hank of golden snitch on tweed and this beautiful mohair is butternut squash soup by little lion head knits and you hold them together and knit a hat called the salt and honey slouch by Huga knits who is kim jackson and i was blessed to win this kit off of instagram when i was on instagram so I've added that hat to my Make 9 this year. So also in here is some leftover scraps and my Kzip Knits 12th Man sock that I started and didn't finish. I love their Garibaldi sock, 7525. Um yarn. It is extremely elastic. It's an eight ply, I believe. And I just enjoy um, K-Zip Knits yarn so much. That is the same dyer. This is a newer label of theirs. Kelsey and Chris. If you need a new to you dyer, I would recommend checking out their website. But it looks like maybe this drawer will close better now. Oh, this last set back here is a set called the Quidditch World Cup, and it was dyed up by a mother daughter team who don't dye yarns anymore, Lizzie Ann Yarns. They had a wonderful monthly Harry Potter themed club that I very much enjoyed. Could have sounded more horrible than it did. It is a very old cabinet. My daughter Eden, who is Kraken Maid, had a yarn shop and charm shop for a few years, and so some of these, well, almost all of these in this drawer are from her shop. Some are custom dye. Colorways that she and I did up together or she did for me. This one I need to send to my sister. It's called Knit by the Campfire. I should leave that out and do that. <laughs> She had a beautiful base called Whirlpool DK and Whirlpool Fingering, which were part strands non-superwash, part strands superwash. So as you can see in the yarn, the darker blue is where the superwash strand was, 
and the other two paler blue are where the non-superwash strands were. I particularly like this colorway, Barbosa's Apple, named after the pirate Barbosa in the Pirates of the Caribbean series. It even has the little blushes that you would see on a green apple. And this red is called Second Mate, and Valerie Miller, Knit Bug Val, had knit a sweater out of Second Mate, and I fell in love with it, so I got some for myself. Some of these I don't have the tags on because they came directly from Eden's workshop to my stash. <laughs> Stormy days. Her holiday series one year was based off of Victorian Christmas cards. So this is Krampus. And the colorways, I think she absolutely captured the Christmas cards. Here's another one from that series. Rip it in the new year. This one was very popular. Santa wears blue. This one was designed by one of her brothers, Pixel Zombie. I have three of the Krampus colorways so that I can do a garment with it. This hank here is called Narnian River God, and it is on a very sparkly DK weight yarn base. Here is Lady Noble. I don't think this colorway did get named. Eden comment if it does have a name. Was this the gold nugget? These are Christmas gift yarns that I will knit up this winter. Four plies are always so fun, especially in Jacquard print, because you can knit a vanilla sock and then feel like you've done some really fancy knitting. This is another colorway of Eden's that I started a sock on. I haven't carried on yet. And I have bundles of minis from Eden's shop that I could not let pass me by. And another lavender sachet.
Maybe I'll close that off screen. But now you've had a full access tour of my yarn cabinet number one. Recently, Eden and I have gone through my yarn stash and done some organizing. And in the next video, I will take you through yarn cabinet number two, which is an entire cabinet of non-superwash yarn that I know you'll just love. This yarn cabinet in holds my very colorful, partly superwash, but as you have seen, I did have a fair amount of non-superwash from both Eden and Molly of a homespun house. So here's a little peek at what we gathered while we were looking through the drawers. I think I have some really fun options in here for my summer stop camp plans. Some really fun colorways that have links to the 80s or 90s. into summer altogether. I hope you enjoyed that little yarn journey.